We need to find the distance between the given parallel planes, and to do that, our first objective is to find a point on the first plane. Now, the first plane we've just colored in green, we need to find a point on that plane. We're going to presently call the coordinates x1, y1, and z1, but our objective is to find those coordinates. And perhaps the easiest way of doing that is to let the y coordinate as well as the z coordinate equal zero in the equation. So for example, we have the equation for the green plane given here, and we're just gonna go ahead and plug zero in for the y coordinate as well as the z coordinate. And the reason this is easy is of course these terms will zero out. We now have two x is equal to four, divide both sides of that by two, and you can see that the x coordinate is equal to two. So for that point, the x one is going to equal two, the y one was zero, and then the z1 was also zero. We're gonna save those values for later when we use the equation to get this distance. But in order for us to use that equation, we have to take the second plane, the blue one, and just rearrange it slightly into a standard form. So let's rewrite the blue equation. And then to get it into the appropriate form, we just have to set it equal to zero. So you're just gonna to wanna to subtract three to the other side of the equation and now you have 4x minus 6y plus 2z minus 3 is equal to 0. And what we need to extract now from the blue equation are the following parameters. We need these a, b, c, and d values. Now these are very easy to get because they just represent basically the coefficients of each variable. So for example, the a is going to equal 4, the b is negative 6, C is positive 2, and then D is this constant value here of negative 3. So we have our A, B, C, and D. We also have our X1, Y1, Z1 from earlier. Let's take a look at the equation now for the distance between a point on one plane and the actual second plane. So there is a nice easy formula for that. And so here it is, the distance from a point to a plane. We already have the values for our point, and we have the values for A, B, C, and D from that other plane equation. So let's just go ahead and plug everything in here. We're gonna have the distance D is equal to an absolute value of our A, which was four, times our X1, two, plus B, which was the negative six, times Y1, which is zero, plus C times our Z1, and then plus D. We're gonna be adding a negative three, so that's just minus three. And then this is all divided by the square root of our A squared plus our B squared plus our C squared. So that's pretty much it. Now all we need to do is simplify. If we do so inside the parentheses, we're gonna have the absolute value of eight minus three. These all zero out. And then on the bottom, you're gonna end up with the square root of 56. And so our final answer would be simply five over the square root of 56. If your teacher doesn't like radicals in the denominator, we can do a little bit of cleanup here. We can rewrite the square root of 56 as the square root of four times the square root of 14. The square root of four, of course, is two. We still have a radical in the denominator, so we'll finally rationalize by multiplying the bottom and the top by root 14. We get five times the square root of 14 over two times 14, but of course that's just 28. So this would be the final answer for the distance between those parallel planes. So basically all you really need to do is find a point on the first plane, the green plane. And we did that by letting y and z equal zero. And then you just need to rearrange the equation of the second plane, the blue one, into the standard form. That'll give you your A through D values, and then you plug in to this equation here.